There he is. He's smiling again. Poor Telly and Gary Polly. The reason you're smiling is the girl that's chewing me shirt. <laughs> she's back and she hasn't she grown? She will reign. Yeah, she's looking good, Rich. Looking real good. That's he's right. up. He's up, Jim. I haven't got a full-time yeah. job. That's not his wallet. <laughs> Go for the wallet. He's got well, a watch. No good. watch. No watch. <laughs> How's she going? Nah, she's come back for two weeks of work, Rich, and she's just developing all the time, you know. Um, that won't hurt at all. Mate, if it don't swap, what do you what do you had on your shirt, eh? <laughs> yeah, they've been them bloody uh, tequilas or anything. I'm a non drinker, non smoker, non, I'm be. a non party, I, I sit at home. What about the one next door? Your nose is growing as we speak. <laughs> um, yeah, the next one next door, nice little alley, we've got the secret lady next door. She won last set, down. Yep, she's Test. Impressive. Good little two year old, yeah, she's very push button tight, runs, goes forward and gives herself every chance. Magic right. millions? Magic millions for sure, yeah. That's where she's heading? Yeah, I think, I think that's her grade, you know, I think she's, we've aimed at it all the way along, she's a lady syndication. Um, definitely uh, the race we should be aiming at, you know. What about Friday night Canterbury? You got one runner there. Um, Puppet Master. Yeah, nice little horse from yeah. um, the Derby team. He showed good ability last preparation when he first go, that hurt. Um, <laughs> and um, and um, yeah, he's trialled really well. Two trials or one trial back and um, oh, he's ready to go Friday night. When you just said it hurt, I don't want to get bit now. <laughs> Saturday, oh, what about the, the first race, pitch, uh, perfect pitch. Yeah, I pitch well on pitch perfect as well. Yeah. Um, good movie. Um, <laughs> Uh, not. One, two, or three. Not, not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they do the cup sort. Mate, you're a pervert, that's all. Um, Rebel Wolf. They are a nice good sort. Good sort yeah. Rebel? And can sing too. Yeah. <laughs> Most important. Um, look, she's a lovely filly. Went really well at Canterbury first up. She's half the lippers then. So if the rain does come, it sort of shouldn't hurt. You know, she's a little wet tracker. I like to run first up. She lost in the 600. Probably took the wrong out option trying to get the yeah, outside. Yeah. I was instead of cutting back the inside. Probably should have run second. The winner was pretty good in the blue team. Um, but yeah, I expect her to run well. She's pulled up really well and, and lovely filly. I think for later on, she's going to be a real nice horse. You got, two, you got the runners in the two features too. The festival stage, you got Test of Shadow. <laughs> yeah, look, he went terrible first up, but I think it might be like, like everyone as get older, it took, it takes a little bit harder and longer to get back to form, you know? 100%. His old first up form used to be great, but now he's just taking a little bit longer to get fit. So I gave him a trial on Tuesday, just a, not a hard one, just to tighten him up. He looks a lot better for it. He's certainly going to races this week, a lot fitter for it. But, I don't know, just reading between the lines, he doesn't want to be pushed early anymore. Yeah, just he might be looking for a bit further. Yeah. So we'll just ride him where he's comfortable this time and want to see him hit the line. The Villiers is in a couple of weeks' time. It's so. not a big field. Kabatsa de Velo will probably They'll run. Little roll along. Yeah, so just see him hit the line and then Villiers is a nice race for him a fortnight later. And now if he runs out the mile sold there, he's run a second over 2,000 before. So maybe not going to the Open Cup this year that he won the Magic Millions at the 1400. He might look at the longer one. So that was see what happens. I never thought I'd ever see it over over a trip. But it was who ran it last year when it won? The Ann Pena. The Ann Pena. That's yeah. right. Oh, they're all saying to you, "What are you putting the Ann Pena on your car and claim?" Yep. Yeah. Hang on, that rings a bell from last week, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Mate. <laughs> the good riders that ride well at the time and suit your horse. That's I was going to say to you, I think a lot of people and me over the years you underestimate. A, a, a jockey's association that rides a horse well. Yeah, well, that's what the difference was last week. I know the kid couldn't claim, but he he summed up the race when she jumped so well and the favourite missed the start. He knew that he had the ability to go, get across the horses quickly. He did that beautifully, and he's a very strong rider late. And I, I just think he's a good jockey that's not getting utilised enough. But oh, you know, we'll keep using him while no one else is. Lee McGorrigan, we're talking about. Uh, what about in the, the Starlight Stakes? You got Straturbo. Um, no, wait, a little awkward gait, but. Getting, uh, yeah, look, he's probably going to go to the bribery handicap again. He won that last year up in Brisbane. It's a listed race over 1,100. Sydney sprinters are too good for him. It's amazing. You go to yeah. Brisbane and take on the sprinters up there. He's very competitive. Same when I go to Melbourne with him. But Sydney's just, it's just so tough. We've got so many good sprinters here. And he's drawn a bit awkward on Saturday. So we'll probably ride him back again from the gate, try to get some cover and try to cut the corner this time. Last week we got trapped and come in the corner and got wide and you just don't make up ground when you get wide at Rose Hill. At Rose Hill, if you want... It, it, in the 1100s anyway. 1100, if you're going to get back, you've got to cut, cut the, corner, the corner, then you can come out. The, but yeah. Anyone that start, if you start spanning from the 500, you some reason, awful trouble. straighten up, the horses on the inside get away again. So, Now look, his run was really good. He only got beaten three lengths of big weight. He's got 53 on his back this weekend. He might run a race, but... Um, He's probably, I don't know, just when in Sydney, he's just not quite good enough to win in Sydney. Can any of, the, any of them win on Friday or Saturday? Uh, I think Puppet Master's a real good chance first up. Uh, I really like my two-year-old. I think that if she gets the right run, um, she's a good filly. She will ride. What's the target? Oakley Plate's the uh, Oakley Plate. Target. I think that's a nice race for three-year-old fillies. Um, and, um, yeah, obviously if she was competitive in that, we'd be looking for TJ again. So, yeah, nice to, be, uh, nice to be talking about these races. And the know? best thing is now that... 
she's getting older. She's going to get. We, we see she's getting bigger. She's getting yeah. stronger. It, I suppose when that invitation come along for the um, the Everest, it, it's hard to knock it back. But if it wasn't there, you. Oh, uh, you yeah, no, look, If it wasn't worth ten million dollars, we'd probably be looking for softer options. That's for yeah. sure. But you know, she did win the Moya first dart, and you know, you're a bit cocky, and you yeah. think, well, okay, percent She'll improve. Off she's that, done an amazing job. She has, and you know, I think that's. And I think I'm hoping we've done the right thing by not racing her too often at her first preparation after Slipper. Yeah. She had a lot of racing during the heavy tracks as a two-year-old, and you see that a lot of these horses don't come back because I think they've just been pushed a little bit too far. Yeah. So we had two races in mind. She got away with winning a Group One race again, which is unheard of for two-year-olds, uh, two-year-old Slipper yeah. winners. Um, so she's broken that hoodoo, and we didn't push her for the prep. She's come back in great order. She's spelled really well, and she's just a bigger filly. Um, you know. I think that uh, going forward, she's going to have, we're going to have a lot of fun with her. I think you've had plenty of fun already. Yeah, I suppose. So, yeah. <laughs> God, you're getting greedy. No, no. But... Had it? Have you have you done your big seafood? It was all done and dusted after the slipper. No, we haven't. We have to wait till the carnival's over oh. and wait till all the trainers the are back from whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be done um, soon. I can't tell too. Because Clary said he's not eating for a fortnight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said that I tried to get James to go halves with me because he got a group one too, but. You know, he's, he's, oh, really shake, oil price is not what it was. I know. Well, actually, the oil said, price going back up. Shake Muhammad's okay. So you're going to wait for the price to come back and see. <laughs> Gary Paul, tell have a good weekend. Thanks, mate. There he is. He trains out here. Every barn's full, but I reckon he could fit one more in. <laughs>